So we'll have Lockie Hughes, our man up on pole position, ahead of Ryan Sewell. Revs rise, drivers under control of the starter now. Two rising stars across the front row. Cameron Shields gets away magnificently from that second row and drives right up alongside. In fact, it's Aaron Love that's going to look right down the inside there. It was his brother that 12 months ago was very successful in portions here, but he just gets bottled up and sent backwards a little bit. Is it Shields around the outside? Could be, yes, what a great start. Yeah, he'll get the inside running into turn two. So Cameron Shields will go straight to the lead. Well, he won't be giving it, he won't be getting it easily because I'll tell you what, Ryan Sewell right up there with him as well. But that's a great start for Cameron Shields from fourth position straight into first by turn number two. Down through there, beautiful sunny day here locally at Phillip Island. Great to have you all watching locally here and also on the streaming. But if you do live locally, come down and have a look at the track. There's nothing quite like watching it live in 3D getting the smell and uh, and the vibration through the ground as well as these cars get right around through to Sib Siberia already. It's Shields leading Sewell and Ojeda. Hughes, who was starting off the front row in pole, has made his way back to fourth. So not being able to take full advantage, but I tell you what, Cameron Shields is taking advantage of the clear air in front right now. Yep, we were talking yesterday about the fact that uh, we thought that Cameron Shields might have got out with lower tyre pressures. That gave him a, uh, a little bit of a slower start for the first few laps, but he came right into the race towards the end. And when we talk about lower tyre pressures in these cars, we're basically, in, in most cars, we're talking about 0.1 of a PSI. It's not as if they drop from 36 down to 24. It's like 0 0.1, 0 0.2. That 0.1 of a difference can make such a, a difference to the handling. It's on a digital scale, yeah. that is for sure. But he went out in, with I would suspect, yesterday with higher tyre pressure because he came on later on in the game. It may have switched that around now, although... Really, the uh, other guys around him have sort of given him the lead in this race. We've got a swap there for fourth position side by side with Hughes and Love underneath the Melbourne Australia Bridge that time and streaming on down through turn one. The elevation rise and fall on this magnificent seaside racetrack. Look at that over there, the Bass Strait just in the background. Next stop, Tasmania. Without a doubt, the most picturesque track here in Australia and it will remain that way for a long, long time. As they come around to Honda, and it's still Cameron Shields with a lead now of just on half a second to Jaden Ojeda, who's jumped into second place. A great start for him as well. Our winner from yesterday, Ryan Sewell in third place. Aaron Love fourth and Lockie Hughes in fifth. We saw a great battle yesterday between Lockie Hughes and Zayed Tones for fifth and sixth position. An important battle that was for both of them because they're both also battling for the Burson Rookie of the Year. At the moment, Lockie Hughes just has the upper hand on that one over Zay Tones. Jackson Walls also in that uh, battle as well. Thomas Smith, Josh Smith and Antonio Astuti are all our guys battling for that Burson Rookie of the Year. So uh, we'll see those battles form throughout the race and they're just as important as the ones up the front. They certainly are, as you touched on there, a couple of second generation races in this field as well. And Turnio Studi uh, with uh, Father Sam, and there's another one to come there as well. So uh, looking forward to seeing how that success is. Interesting line taken by Cam Shields coming onto the straight this time. He's running right down the pit wall, so he will make that move over to there. That gives him really good options going into turn one as though Jada up pulls out, looks to the inside. Shields is out wide, puts him on the inside for two, but no, that's not going to work. And gee, Jaden Ojeda has used the switchback very nicely indeed. It's put him a bit untidy into two. He's run a bit wide there. He's picked up the apex. We just saw the back wheel of the car bobble over the uh, top of the painted line there, but uh, managed to put Cameron Shields behind him. And that is a big tick in the box. Cameron Shields is a massively respected racer. He's one of these guys that I think is just about every weekend at the wheel of uh, either one of these or a, a Formula Ford in the Victorian New South Wales or even national titles there. So getting plenty of racing is Cameron Shields. And uh, we're going to have a look quickly at the Morris Finance leaderboard. That's Shields to Ojeda, Ryan Sewell and Aaron Love. Back to Lockie Hughes. And then it's Wall rounding out the top six. Cameron Shields, race. of course, uh, also in Formula 3 this year as well. So three programs being run by Cameron, Jaden Ojeda. Came from fifth yesterday, botched the start of the race yesterday, dropped down to fifth place and came from that position to take the lead in pretty much similar circumstances. And they took him a couple of laps to get up there and he's done exactly the same here. This hasn't uh, traditionally been a fantastic track for AGI Sport, especially last year when they had championship uh, winner Nick Rowe just couldn't get it right here last year, or the team could. I think they learned a lot from that 
and the setups of their car for this year, this race, this weekend, has uh, been basically determined a lot by what they learnt from last year. Jade Nojada has established himself 0.8 of a lead, and that's a, a good, strong lead. Even though he only took the lead exactly one lap ago, these cars are all identical. There are some wing settings that they may change, but very few available there. There's some uh, suspension settings, but mostly it's tyre pressures. And at the moment, it's Jade Nojada that's got Cameron Shields. We look back down through the field there. There's Zade Tones right behind him. Uh, is Thomas Smith in the SCT Logistics car, which was the sponsor that Nick Rowe had on board last yep. year when he won the title. So now they're rebuilding, a sponsor's rebuilding with a new driver within Formula 4 as well. Being a part of the Camps Pace Australian Formula 4 Championship. Great to see these sponsors staying on with some of these teams to help them develop those drivers in their uh, in their career advancement as well. Aaron Love and Ryan Sewell at the top of camera there. Love in the blue car, Ryan Sewell in the yellow in the background. There's our leaders, Jaden Ojeda. Stepping out to nearly a one second gap now between himself and Cameron Shields. 0.8 of a second on the Morris Finance leaderboard, as you can see. And then another 0.8 of a second between Shields and Ryan Sewell as they make their way down through Lukey Heights. Pretty cool, the Morris Finance leaderboard on the bottom there. Hashtag Shannon's Nats, www.thenationals.com.au. All these kids love these these hashtags yeah. and all that sort of thing. So they'll be all over the, uh, the social media with the hashtags and... Uh, and uh, Facebook and all that sort of thing. So really good to see Morris Finance on board, reminding us of all that social media engagement. Bit of Insta, bit of Snap. Bit of MySpace. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Not the 90s anymore. <laughs> oh, Come Darren. on, kids. Darren. Oh, here we go. Aaron Love. Great work up the inside. Can he hold it? Ryan Sewell's not going to give it up easy. Oh, oh, a little bit of a wobble there from Aaron Love through two. Sets himself up now. Up through three and Ryan Sewell's going to get him back here. The track. He's pushed him out wide. In, in fact, he hasn't pushed him out wide. He's had to run wide there, but it's under brakes. Big push there. Sewell hangs on for it. He's done a bit of racing in the Formula 4 oh, Sewell and back. just dragging the floor pan across that little ripple strip there. Some great inclusions here at the Phillip Island Grand Prix circuit with some hard stands off the back of corners. I guess the only problem is with some of these lower open wheelers and their uh, their flat bottoms is that when you do go over anything that's sort of more than about seven or eight millimetres, you end up with a bit of strife and start to drag the bottom of the car across the uh, across the ripple strip, and that does damage to the plank on the underside of the car. And literally, yes, it is a plank, and so is Formula One. It's a plank <laughs> underneath there, sacrificial uh, laminated piece of timber. Lockie Hughes in fifth place, Jackson Wall six, Zaid Tones who effectively nearly has his whole family down from Queensland for this round. Even Grandma's popped down cool. to uh, watch her boy do his stuff here at Phillip Island. So get out of all the uh, the Tones family. Uh, Thomas Smith in eighth position as well. Hey, Zaid, before Grandma leaves the track today, make sure you grab her purse and tip it upside down and take all the, uh, the loose change out of it as well. Yeah, exactly. So good to see the family following the fortunes of their boys. Zaid Tones now picks up a spot, actually, as he goes past Jackson Walls. You saw that live there on the Morris Finance leaderboard. Moves up into sixth place now. And as we said, uh, in the battle with Lachlan Hughes for the Rookie of the Year. There was only two points in it after the round down in Tassie. So uh, nice and close between those two. But in the meantime, Jaden Ojeda just keeps moving further in front now to 1.2 seconds. That gap between himself and Cameron Shields. Aaron Love holds on to third place. Ryan Sewell not leaving him alone, though. He'll bother him for the next six laps of this race. There goes Sewell. Ray White sponsorship on the side there. Ah, spinner there in uh, number 12. Josh, Josh Smith. Smith. In a, uh, one of the uh, rising star cars. Schmick are racing. And gets back on at the turn four. We look down to turn four there off the back shot. There are lots of Mercs and AMGs arriving at the track for their special session at around about 11.20 this morning. Lots of Mercedes and AMG drivers making their way to the track here today. So a big welcome to all the guests of uh, Peter Hackett and all the crew down there at AMG. To see them on board as here's live shots down at Team BRM. We should also mention too to the people uh, playing at home or here at the track, if you see a Formula 4 car with a white number plate, 
That signifies that that uh, car is one of our more senior drivers. A yellow number plate is the rookie driver, Cameron, down in pit lane. Yeah, Shebex and Darren, you mentioned Team Bark BRM. Well, I thought we'd have a little bit more of a look at this team. So they're watching on at the moment. But over on their wall, which uh, is just behind me over here, we'll swing around very shortly. You'll see all the champions that they've had over the years. We've had Will Brown, 2016 Formula 4 champion, and we make our way all the way up to the 2002 Australian Formula 3 champion, James Manderson. And Darren, I know you'll be all over this. That year, he beat Will Power to the championship. Will Power's gone on to be the first Australian to ever win an Indy 500. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. I was nicely pointed out there that uh, all these years ago, Will Power did such a fantastic job trying to catch James Manderson. I bet James Manderson's sitting at home watching this right now going, oh no, <laughs> Will's taken out the biggest one of all. And I guess the other biggest one of all, our mate Dan Ricciardo, uh, who's yeah. part of the big part of the CAMS program going forward. And uh, he's he's taken out Monaco as well. Justifiably so. There was some redemption there with that, wasn't there? I posed the question with Richard Crowell on my podcast on the grid uh, last week. Was that the biggest weekend of Australian motorsport ever? Yeah, To win a Monaco was. and win an Indy yeah. 500? Yeah, no bigger, is it? Yeah, yeah. And the world of motorsport is now looking yeah. at Australia. Yeah. And they're watching yeah. us, Shebex, today. Uh, hopefully they are on the nationals.com.au if you are g'day and welcome from australia to anyone around the world who might be watching our broadcast today big puff of smoke we would see that someone's gone off and they have if our camera just pans left we'll be able to find him there it is hard to tell from the top who that was we know it was a car competing in the pace australian formula four championship yeah i've got a feeling it might have been jackson walls uh, get confirmation of that at some point. Jado Jada though remains our leader. A 134.38, the fastest lap for him, and the race so far with five laps remaining. Yes, it's Walls. Yeah, sure. Jackson Confirmed Walls on top of the airbox there. So that's a shame. That's uh, they're basically at the end of Belinda's Terrace is uh, off, gone straight ahead off there up to the uh, tyre wall in front of the BMW signs up there. They continue under the wide spans, sheds, bridge, and head up to this magnificent view out over the very, very long left and then right hander at Hay Sheds and across Lukey Heights, famously named after Len Lukey, who was the track owner for many, many years, and his Lukey mufflers that were on many Aussie cars for many, many years. Around turn 12 here is where we saw pretty much straight ahead off the track there is where Walls is and uh, didn't make the uh, didn't make the turn through the so turn 12. Joe No Jada remains a two second leader now in front of Cameron Shields pretty much the gap that they had yesterday as well between the two of them Aaron Love still holding on to third place and he is also increasing his gap between himself and Ryan Sewell a one second gap now between third and fourth so little distinct gap starting to break out between our top four or five cars as they settle into a routine with four laps remaining here in the second race of the second round of the Cavs Pace Australian Formula 4 Championship. So Jaden and Jada driving for the AGI Sport Engine Sensors Australia team out of New South Wales doing a, a strong job out in front at the moment. Of course Team Bay at BRM represented in second place with Cam Shields and uh, then Aaron Love also a BRM driver and uh, out of South Australia that very famous open wheeler team there's a great battle going on now this is uh, for just inside the top 10 that's just a good drive by Artie Jodick he's in the grey car the grey and orange car in front the number 50 this is the first time he's actually ever raced on bitumen he is a speedway driver and uh, has come into Formula 4 this year. We should also mention, too, the fact that he had a massive accident. Not in a car, though. He was walking down the street uh, just a, a while ago and was hit by a BMX bike. Cracked his tibia and fibia in his leg. So he's had a long recovery session from that and finds himself back in the car this weekend for the very first time. Attempted move up the inside. Thomas Smith By is getting Thomas a little bit of contact there in the number 16. Being driven very well there. Stood his ground. A little bit of a bump there. You don't want to be doing that too much. And there yep. it is again. Thomas Smith still trying to hang on in the number 16. Good to see another Smith in a 16. Good 
number. Who was the first? Oh, well, well, maybe not the first, but the original. Maybe not, no. Darren? So, it's that Antonio Astuti in behind there as well. As you mentioned, second generation driver, Dad Sam, did a lot of open wheel driving in his time. In the big, big banger days of open wheels in Formula Holden. He's a force to be reckoned with, and then in the early days of Formula 3 as well, Sam Astuti. Happier man I've never met. <laughs> he loves being at the track, doesn't he? He loves being at the track. Bit Smiley squirrely under brakes there for Jonick. And around the outside goes Thomas Smith again, trying to hold off Astuti as he comes through. As we head down, it'll be the last lap for these guys as they come back down the main straight shortly. Our leader's just coming off MG now. And heading around turn at number 12, it is Jaden O. Jada, still our leader. A three second gap now between himself and Cameron Shields. As they head down to the line, final lap coming up for these boys. And Jaden Ojeda, who had a win yesterday, looking to make it two. That was a little bit of an off there for Jonic. Did that give the opportunity for Astuti to come up the inside and take him? It does. So dropping a position there was uh, the young... Artie Jonic and Antonio Astuti now trying to hold on to that seventh place for one more lap. Jaden Ojeda really giving a bit of a lesson to the guys behind him. You want to try and catch me in this year's title hunt. We're going to drag 50 points out of these first two races and going to be well and truly clear on points for this weekend. He will. Cameron Shields was well and truly clear of him after Tasmania uh, with uh, the issue that Jaden Ojeda did have in that second race. So Shields was on 68 before the start of today. Jaden Ojeda on 27. He'll pull back 14 points. So just starts to make inroads into that uh, championship lead. Ryan Sewell in there in second place also at the moment. So coming across and plunging down into MG for the final time in this race. Checkered flag being at the ready now for Jaden Ojeda. Unfortunately for Cam Shields, no answers in the McDonald's entry for uh, this race, but still got another one to go today, and Cam will fight back strong and hard. Well, here he comes, Jaden Ojeda. A pair of wins so far the weekend here at Phillip Island. Races one and two, Cameron Shields, a pair of seconds for him. And the grid for race number three will be formulated on the second fastest time of our drivers from qualifying yesterday. Aaron Love in third place. Ryan Sewell takes fourth. Lockie Hughes crosses the line in fifth place. Say Tones takes sixth. Astuti, Jonic and Smith. A good battle there. It was Antonio Astuti who gets into seventh. So a good position for him finally. Thomas Smith and, Ann, and uh, Artie Jonic in eighth and ninth. So the top five were reversed at the start of this race. Lockie Hughes and Ryan Sewell had the, the good view from out the front. I guess they now go and have a, have a look at the room of mirrors at the moment, starting off out of uh, one and two, ended up um, ended up about uh, four and five on the race there. So yeah, Lucky Hughes being a rookie was always going to be a tough one for him yeah, to hold on the pole. To, if you get a pole, you've got to be able to try and make yep. uh, make hay while the sun shines. So they'll have some uh, some work to do there. Jade and OJ to start out of fifth, Cam Shields out of fourth. So they've pushed well, you know, up five spots and a race win in only a 12 lap race when all the cars are identical to each yep. other. That's some good work done there by Jaden Ojeda and Cameron Shields to get their championship hopes uh, continuing off in the right direction. I guess uh, Jaden Ojeda would have preferred that Cam Shields stayed in fourth and he could just grab a little bit more points ahead of uh, Cameron Shields' already strong uh, um, title hunt in uh, the Cam's Pace Australian Formula 4 Championship. Yep, a, uh, an interesting situation now, and it will be after this weekend, especially if Ojeda keeps on his winning ways into our final race, coming up just after 12 o'clock. Let's have a look at the highlights of race number two of the Cam's Pace Australian Formula 4 Championship. And it was a good start for all, especially for Cameron Shields, who got an absolute flyer off the line in fourth place and heading down to turn at number one, just had his nose in front of Ryan Sewell and that was allowing him to then hold that inside line into turn number two and take the lead for the first lap or so. 
Ryan Sewell was held out wide there as well, so it allowed Jaden O'Jada to make up some space out of his fifth place starting run. And this was the uh, early run right down the pit wall. Not a very common line taken here. In fact, it's more common to see in Formula Vs. They all like to line up and run right down the pit wall there, but certainly something different we're seeing from Cameron Shields. And he was going very defensive at that point to try and keep the number 31 of Jaden O'Jada behind him. Ran through Honda, and that's Ryan Sewell and Aaron Love, who had also a great battle for third and fourth. Aaron Love, the victor in that battle in the end. He took that third place right here and wasn't uh, going to relinquish it at any point after that. A little bit of a wobble, but all good for Aaron Love, who ended up taking third place in the race. Spinner. There was Josh Smith. Around through Honda. Was Ultimately, to... Josh didn't finish the race, unfortunately. So yeah. I wonder if there was uh, some, some damage that uh, was caused. Certainly a very benign type of spin. That maybe it was Josh that parked up against the wall at the top of the, of the hill after his uh, second off up there as well. So um, parked up there. This was willing. Very willing indeed. We had a little bit of wheel-to-wheel -wheel contact with the number 16 of Thomas Smith there. And, uh, well, they're going to do this when they're learning these guys, aren't they? Yep, they certainly are. And that smoke was caused by Jackson Walls, who had the off. You can see him right there in the bottom of camera. Unfortunately for him, a DNF as well. Once again, that battle will continue between the car of Tom Smith and Antonio Astuti. Also, Artie Jonic in that battle as well. He's got Willing through here, touching wheels in open wheelers through there. He's uh, fraught with danger. Under brakes there. Threshold of braking for Artie Jonic. Put these two behind him. They fought back though. Yeah, it was a good move by Antonio Studi to go up the inside As on Honda and flag. take a position. Moved him up in the seventh place. Race number two, who also was up being the victor in that group of three. As the chicken flag. Jader.